everyone a hearty welcome to smile kids channel in this video we are going to discuss the flow chart with explanation on class 8 science chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe but before that subscribe to our channel smiley kids so let's get started This is the flow chart of microorganisms friend and foe. Let's see all of these in detail. Microorganisms. What are microorganisms? The living organisms which can only be seen with the help of a microscope are called microorganisms. These microorganisms are also known as microbes. These microorganisms are classified into viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. So here for each of them we have given two examples. For viruses we have polio virus hiv virus for bacteria we have lactobacillus and rhizobium fungi penicillium and aspergillus protozoa amoeba paramecium algae chlamydomonas and spirogera so this is all about the classification of microorganisms now let's come to the next part of microorganisms microorganisms are friends and foes what are friends friends means they are useful friendly microorganisms means useful microorganisms what about foe foe means harmful so it means harmful microorganisms so microorganisms can be either useful or harmful let's first see how these microorganisms are useful to us they help in bread preparation curd formation alcohol production in antibiotics in vaccines they also help in cleaning the environment and also they help in increasing the soil fertility we have so many uses of microorganisms around us but wait microorganisms can be harmful too they can cause diseases these disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens these microorganisms cause diseases in animals plants and humans too animal diseases at first we have anthrax anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease caused by a bacterium next comes foot and mouth foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus plant diseases at first we have citrus canker which is caused by bacteria rust of wheat it is caused by fungi next we have yellow vein mosaic of bhindi or okra plant which is caused by virus all these can be controlled by the use of certain chemicals which kill the microbes human diseases human diseases some common human diseases are also caused by microorganisms at first we have tuberculosis cholera and typhoid these three diseases are caused by bacteria next we have measles chickenpox polio and hepatitis a these four diseases are caused by viruses Next we have malaria and dengue which are caused by protozoa. 
Now let's talk about food poisoning. Food poisoning is caused when we eat spoiled food. Do you know how the food is getting spoiled? It is due to harmful microorganisms. Hence, we need to preserve food. Food preservation can be done using chemicals or some common methods. Preservatives prevent the attack of microbes. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are some common preservatives. Now let's talk about common methods. Preservation by common salt, preservation by oil and vinegar, preservation by sugar. These are few common methods to preserve food. Now let's come to the next topic which is nitrogen cycle. Some microorganisms are called biological nitrogen fixers. Do you all know why are they called so? They are called so because they will be able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich the soil with nitrogen and increase the soil fertility. Let me tell you what nitrogen cycle is. Our atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is essential for all the living organisms as a part of proteins, chlorophyll, etc. Do you all know how this nitrogen is constant in the atmosphere? It is the same as 78%. Do you all know why nitrogen is constant? This is due to nitrogen cycle. What is nitrogen cycle? So here we have nitrogen in the atmosphere, right? So what happens? The bacteria and blue-green algae fix this atmospheric nitrogen. Then bacteria in turn fix nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds. Where will be this compounds? Compounds of the nitrogen will be in the soil. When, when these nitrogenous compounds are uptaken by the plants, then animals eat plants, right? So when animals excrete or they die, they produce nitrogenous waste. Then bacteria turns these compounds of nitrogen into gaseous nitrogen. That is why nitrogen is constant in the atmosphere. This is all about nitrogen cycle. Hope you all enjoyed this session. Before leaving, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Smiley Kids. Thank you.